Welcome back to another episode of Movement Monday, where we tackle everything from your relationship to yourself, your relationship to others, and your relationship to your purpose and your craft, where we ultimately help you keep moving forward. My name is Matthew Cook, and I am so freaking excited today to be talking about a concept that I work with all the time with my clients, and this one is such a big, powerful thing, and it is simply the power speaking your truth and I uh, don't stop there please don't stop the video because I have something really important for you because you've heard oh, speak your truth right that's great but I want you to actually listen to the power of not speaking your truth huh? the power of not speaking your truth so here is something that's so fascinating so the more and more that we apply stimulus to an idea to a concept to um, a relationship this is what's so fascinating is that the more and more that our brains go to uh, form a neural pathway to a particular concept to a particular idea that that line gets threaded more and more and more and it begins to almost like you're sanding something down it begins to get smoother and smoother and smoother which is a good thing when we're trying to build habits right so great that's no news we all know that we want to continue to uh, go along a neural pathway to create a habit but here's where it's interesting is that it also wears down the novelty of that idea or concept so here is where this concept gets so exciting okay you ready for this this just gets me so excited so if you want to take the charge take some of this the scariness of something off of, of something so if that's shame or guilt or that's just simply speaking your truth about um, something that happened happened when you were a child or happened even like last year doesn't matter but simply speaking something one of my good friends used to say this which is speak the truth until it stops hurting speak the truth until it stops hurting super incredibly profound and powerful words so the more and more that we speak our truth what it does is again it continues to move down that neural pathway and it gets simpler and simpler and easier and easier right so that's really important but here's the flip side of that here's when you want to not speak your truth which is when you have a new idea a new concept in mind so here's the thing is is there they've done a lot of research on this there's been a number of studies that have come out on this which is the idea that when people the in the study that they did it was people that were gonna try to lose weight and what they found is that people that actually kept their mouth shut and didn't talk about and I wish I could quote the source at this moment but when they didn't talk about their weight loss journey they were like like 10 times more likely to actually complete that goal because what happens is the more and more that we talk about it the more and more that we talk about it again it loses its charge we'll call it it becomes simpler to to deal with and to digest and, to, and for us to assimilate and be with right so what ends up happening then is as we continue to speak it it begins to lose some of that excitement and some of that novelty of us actually getting in the gym and doing the work and eating the meals and doing the right it becomes less exciting because we've told the world around about it so in our minds our brains don't know the difference between actually living it out and simply just speaking about it so our brains just go all right cool did the work talked about it all week so I pretty much did it yeah that's great so that's not great right if, if we're wanting to have a real physical behavior change take place we actually don't want to speak our truth so it's a very fascinating dichotomy so that's what I wanted to bring to you this week so again the power of speaking your mind is uh, excuse me speaking your truth and speaking your mind speaking your body mind is that the more and more that you speak that truth the more and more it takes the charge off of it and becomes less new and novel and the energy around it begins to soften but if we want to amp up the energy and we want to continue to get more pace and more momentum towards a goal and towards towards an idea, towards a concept, we actually want to speak about it less. We want to less get it out into the world because again, that begins to dampen the energy around it. So if you want to go after something, don't talk about it, be about it, right? Don't talk about it, be about it. Whoo! I feel like I'm on fire. Okay, here it is. Don't talk about it, be about it. 
If you want to achieve something of greatness, if you want to do some big, big stuff, don't talk about it, be about it. If you want to heal, if you want to take care of old wounds, talk about it. Talk about it, talk about it, talk about it ad nauseum until there is nothing left to talk about. Until it's like, ugh, okay, the energy of that has been extinguished within me. So, with that, big, big hugs to you guys. Movement Monday, another episode in the books. Have an incredible, incredible rest of your Monday. Keep moving forward.